How long do you have to look at a painting to realize that it's by Fernando Botero? Probably no more than a few seconds. After years of producing art, Fernando Botero has managed to create a unique style that has turned him into one of the most exceptional and important living artists in the international art world. Fernando Botero's story began on the 19th of April 1932 in Medellin, Colombia. He became interested in art at an early age, and when he was just 16, he took part in his first group exhibition in Medellin. In his youth, he traveled the world in search of inspiration, studying all the great names of art history, from Bogota to the Caribbean, and from there on to Europe. In Madrid, he admired the works of Velázquez and Goya in the Prado. Then he traveled through Italy to immerse himself in the art of the Renaissance. Work by work, Botero began to hone a style that would set him apart from the other artists of his generation. A style based on the constant study of the human figure and still lives, and the way they relate to the space around them. A style that would become reflected in both his painting and his sculptures. A style in which volume became the absolute protagonist. Es decir, a partir de los impresionistas, la pintura se volvió cada vez más plana, el volumen no interesó. Y bueno, yo soy uno de los únicos artistas que se interesa en el volumen y en una forma pues eh, total. Y eso tal vez ha sido la cosa que ha marcado como una característica más fuerte mi, mi trabajo. During his entire career, the artist has constantly experimented with drawing. While some of his sketches ended up as paintings, Botero discovered very early on the importance of drawing in itself as an independent work and not simply as a rough draft. Yo le doy una gran importancia al dibujo porque es la base de todo, es decir, no se puede pensar en ningún gran artista sin pensar en su capacidad de dibujo. El dibujo es, es la base de todo. Sin saber dibujar, pues es muy difícil crear algo que sea realmente importante. Without doubt, one of the most common themes in his drawings, paintings and sculptures is the female form. Botero uses the figure of the woman symbolically on many levels. As a mother, a lover, linked to mythology or religion, or simply evoking glamour and costumbrist enjoyment. Todos los pintores han pintado mujeres con un gran deleite. Pues yo lo he hecho igualmente, pero también pues eh, creando a través del estilo, de, es decir, creando una, dando una deformación que corresponda a mi manera de pensar sobre la pintura. La gente piensa que yo soy el pintor de las mujeres gordas, ¿no? Yo soy el pintor del volumen. Artica has created Botero's Women, an art book of a very private nature, produced in collaboration with and supervised by Fernando Botero. A view of the figure of the woman through the eyes of one of the most important artists in contemporary art. Botero's Women features an art book as the main piece of the work, and which contains 45 plates of drawings selected personally by Fernando Botero. All the plates have been prepared separately to ensure their perfect reproduction, from the type of paper used to the individual die cutting of each one. They feature mothers, lovers, women of all types and classes, all of them the stars of their own stories. They are Botero's women. The plates are accompanied by fragments of tales written by Botero himself and published in the 1980s. 
The art book opens with an introduction by the winner of the Nobel Prize for Literature and friend of the artist Mario Vargas Llosa, who wrote it especially for this edition. Together with the art book, a comprehensive study book explores Botero's work on a deeper level and helps us to understand the scope of this world-famous painter. His artistic career, a detailed analysis of the role of women in his art, the importance of drawing in his work and a specific study of each of the drawings are just some of the features of the book by Lourdes Trilot, professor of art history and a researcher specializing in contemporary art. Texts written specifically for this work and accompanied by an exclusive interview between the author and Fernando Botero. A bilingual Spanish-English edition. The art book and the study book have been designed so that when placed together, they form the image of the work Head, which Botero painted in 2006. A perfect harmony that is achieved by binding the two books at the same time. Each of these volumes has been made by hand. The pages are sewn together using cotton thread. And they are bound by hand with covers printed on canvas fabric. The covers of the art book are made up of flaps secured by magnets which give the volume an impeccable finish. To print the drawings, two types of paper have been used. Watercolour paper and craft paper which reproduces the characteristics of the Amate paper that the artist uses in some of his drawings. The selection of these types of paper has made it possible to faithfully duplicate the techniques used by Botero in his drawings, namely watercolours, pencils, sanguine and bistre. The 45 plates have been secured by hand to the art book using three drops of glue. On the back of each plate, there is the number of the copy and Fernando Botero's seal. The art book and the study book are kept in a case sculpture, which is a genuine work of art. The relief design that appears in the face of the front cover of the case pays homage to the volume that is so typical of Botero's work. The cases are made by hand, one by one, by expert craftsmen. Each case is polished to give form to the volumes and to prevent any flaws. Colour is painted onto the case and the detail of the painting head is printed onto the relief effect. Finally, Fernando Botero's signature is manually stamped onto the case by means of silk screening. A single limited numbered edition of 2,998 copies as certified by notarial deed, each of which has been numbered by hand. The result is a unique work that reflects the art of one of the painters with the most personality in art history. Fernando Botero's art is international in its scope from the most famous museums to the streets of the whole world. Singapore, New York, Medellin, London, Lisbon, Madrid and Barcelona are just some of the cities fortunate enough to possess works by the Colombian maestro, an artist who thanks to his own style, Botterism, is recognized and admired throughout the world. When they told me that the caratula of the book would be with a volume, volumen me pareció pues que era imposible hacerlo 
Y cuando después vi las pruebas me llamó la atención que fuera una reproducción que fuera tan perfecta, tan fiel a, a mi original y al mismo tiempo que tuviera esa delicadeza de volumen. Me gustó muchísimo y estoy muy impresionado con la calidad de las reproducciones y con el resultado final, que la presencia del libro es fantástica. Expresa en una forma muy, muy completa mi manera de pensar sobre el dibujo y muestra el mejor aspecto de mi trabajo.